What's up guys, it's Positively Lana and today is a very important video because we're actually moving in real time. And if you've seen the title, then you know exactly what we're gonna be working on today. And that is going to be when you feel off, you get that feeling that you don't wanna get out of bed, that nothing seems to be going your way. And that's exactly how today feels for me. Well, first things first, I normally have a morning routine that keeps me on track for where I want to go, that I feel nice and grounded, that the morning just really flows with what my intention is for the day, and none of that worked today. I start my day by organizing my space because I never really was a person that really thought that organization made a difference. but. I now connect that when my space is very, very cluttered, that's exactly how my brain feels. So I started by cleaning up where my space was and really I got myself together, I got dressed, got out of bed, didn't feel like it, but started the day anyways because staying in bed didn't feel like the right answer. Organizing did make me feel a little more present. However, it still hasn't done the trick. So we're gonna move on to exactly that. Number one is gonna be meet yourself where you are. I know today that I don't feel grounded. I don't feel like me. There's something off and I'm not exactly sure what that is at this point. Um, but I do know that over the last couple of days, I have not made decisions or choices that have been advantageous for where I wanted to be by the end of the week. And I know plans change and that's exactly where we're coming to with meet yourself where you're at because number one is come on back to the present moment. There's no sense in me sitting here and telling you where I wanted to be by the end of the week or what my plans were because that's not where they are. So this is my reminder to myself and also that I'm sharing with you of how I work through this process of when I don't necessarily feel super or absolutely positive. It's the coming back to where I am, grounding back to where I currently sit. And for me, that is recognizing that I've definitely been looking into the future more, been in a lot more worry, had more anxiety. And that's because again, I haven't been connecting to where I am right now because that stuff in the future doesn't matter and is constantly changing as long as I am not able to make decisions and stick and move in those choices. So normally these work together for me. They're in no specific order, but remembering that I need to come back to the present, then hitting enter <laughs> into the keyboard or rather breathing really sets the mood for me because anytime that I recognize I'm going too quickly, I'm anxious, I'm worried, I'm not actually right here in this moment, not in my body, breathe. Take a moment to breathe deeply. I normally take two very, very deep uh, clearing breaths. So one, I'll empty my lungs completely, breathe in for as long as I can steadily, hold it for the same duration, and then release it. While I'm releasing, I always do put that intention of what I am letting go of. Am I letting go of toxins? Am I letting go of emotional energies? Am I letting go of just something that I feel is in my aura? Am I letting go of something that I know that I'm holding on to, a memory from the past, whatever it may be? So I do two of those in a row. Sometimes I do a third if I feel that I'm really just not getting it. <laughs> and then the last one I do is a charging breath. So claiming the energy for the day that you want, connecting back to the earth, connecting to God, whatever it is that you connect to that makes you feel like you or you are your most present self, that is the last breath that I take. And then I go back to breathing normally and that normally sets the tone for the present moment. And last but not least, 
being able to transmute judgment into grace. And this means, and this can be taken for anyone. I'm not just saying transmuting judgment of yourself into grace for yourself, but it can be transmuting judgment of others into grace for others. It, it can be used on many different levels. So what does transmuting mean? What we're looking to do is move one form of energy to another. Emotions are very, very volatile, and by that I mean they don't stay for very long. What we're looking to do is move out of one state of emotion into another. And in this case, transmuting judgment, which is a very low frequency emotion, into a higher state, which is giving grace either to yourself or to others. So for me, I woke up and like I said, I had ideas of where I wanted to be, plans of where I should be at this time, which should be is already not starting out on a great note. But with that, I came out of the gate this morning judging myself for not being where I wanted to be. Instead of staying in that state, I have decided and made the choice to move from judgment to give myself grace and space today. Funny thing is, is that I wanted to have filmed more content for my YouTube channel by now, and it just wasn't clicking. I was just sitting, spinning my wheels, really in my head about it, and here we are. It's getting done anyways, and honestly, in a more authentic form, because this is exactly how I feel today, and I'm walking you guys through what what I started with this morning just to get myself going. Now, let me be clear, I'm, I'm going to also rest today and really explore why I've been making decisions and choices that haven't been advantageous for where I wanted to be or where I was on the move to. I definitely feel like I've lacked focus and sometimes that's exactly what you need in order to be like a, like a memory, like to jog your memory to be like, oh yeah, that's exactly why I don't do these things, which is where I'm moving with our second point. Point number two is do something for yourself. I was getting to the point where I realized the decisions and choices I've been making haven't been advantageous for where I wanted to be. And I would rather say advantageous or not advantageous instead of saying good or bad because it's all relative. I knew what I was doing and I take full responsibility for where I am in this day because of the choices that I made. That ownership actually should have been number two, but we're putting it right here. So. 1.5 is actually take responsibility for where you currently are. Own it. I'm not saying place blame on yourself. Again, blame associates judgment and ownership associates, again, just being responsible. So I'm not saying sit here and then beat yourself up about where you are, but just recognize that's like, yep, this is exactly where I am. and. I, I know that I'm here for choices that I made that were either advantageous or not advantageous to where I was going or where my focus was. For me, I recognize that I don't do well with drinking, even just a little bit. I don't like not feeling like me and it can throw me off for a couple of days. So that's one that I now know that if I make that choice, then what follows from that point will not, will not be where I wanted my focus to go, where I wanted my energy or intention for the day to carry over because it does have residual effects for me and I just know that that's my body. So moving back to where we just were, <laughs> number two, doing something for yourself, getting out of your same space. 
for me, I went this morning to go shoot this video somewhere completely different and I ended up in a giant circle. It took me about an hour. <laughs> went to go shoot outside, the spots that I kept going to, the locations, didn't end up working out. But either way, brought me back to where I am currently and again, the video is still getting done. The way I wanted it to get done did not matter. It is still happening and I think that I'm as we're going along, going through this, as I'm talking to you guys about this, I feel a lot better than I did because I was so worried about something not working out or not being perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And I forget that sometimes. So getting out of your same space actually brought me back to where I, where it was going to be most advantageous for me to actually get this done. I'm in a quiet space. No one can interrupt me in the space that I'm in. There were cars and all kinds of people walking by in the space I was trying to shoot earlier. So it was just really distracting on top of the fact that I already felt off. So this is a much better, much better position. Number two, choose different. For my drinking example, I'm just going to choose not to drink. I also am choosing to eat better than I had been because sugar for me does not do well. If I eat sugar, it actually makes me feel disconnected from my body. It makes me feel sluggish. It makes me feel kind of like I have a, like a hangover the next day and it's not worth it. Most of the time it's way too sweet for me. It tasted good for a second. And then the next thing you know, I don't feel good. I don't feel myself. I'm not able to connect with universal energy, I'm not able to meditate properly, and I'm going to choose a different path. And the third point here, again, these are in no specific order, I'm getting it out. Whatever creative motive or, I'm sorry, whatever creative outlet you have, let it out. If your creative outlet is giving you a block, go and just sit in a different space than you would. Try a different coffee shop. Go take a walk, five minutes. Take a longer shower, take a bath. Just do something, give yourself a foot massage, whatever it might be that just kind of breaks that long enough for you to then be able to just get out what you need to say. Normally, or what, what you're feeling on the inside. For me, I normally journal. That didn't work this morning. It was like my pen had 20 pounds in it is what it felt like. Anytime I went to go write anything, it just didn't click. But the one thing that did work today was actually coming here and speaking on camera, which normally would be the scariest thing for me to do, but I'm becoming more and more comfortable with just letting it out, showing you that this is exactly what life sometimes feels like and how much that feeling lasts is completely up to you. So for this video, that's really all I have for you guys. I'm, I'm human just like everyone else. And what I recognize is that my spirit didn't feel right. I feel better now. Um, not a hundred percent and I'm going to go work on that. My body still feels tired. Again, still have some residuals from drinking the last couple, well, two days ago now, and it still is affecting me. I can still feel it. Um, I didn't, not sleeping great. So that's also uncommon for me. So I'm got to figure out where that's coming from. And by figuring that out, I mean, I'm doing exactly what I just shared with you guys. And three, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go make some food and probably take a nap today because that seems like the remedy for me. So once you go through these few steps that I've just outlined, if none of it, if none of it clicked, then listen to what you are telling yourself. That little voice on the inside is your best gauge for anything in life. So, I hope these tips were helpful. If not, I hope you find exactly what you needed for you by listening to yourself. And if you want to see more of me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at It's Positively Lana. Otherwise, subscribe down below. 
on YouTube and I'll be coming back with more videos just like this. I really want the conversation to keep continuing. So if you have anything else that you would like to add or questions, comments, concerns, leave them below and I definitely will get to it so that we can keep conversing like this right here. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.